Hello, my beautiful people. I hope that you are doing well. If you find the following information useful, I'm going to ask you to not only like it down below and comment, <clears throat> but to share this. And also for smaller channels, to respond to it and then I can respond back because we are in fourth generational warfare under a new era of technocracy or what you, you can put all the conspiracies aside put all of them aside for a second in the past a state a nation an empire was only as rich as how many people they could tax, and how much tax money they could get, or how much they could plunder. But we are now in an age where you don't need the high numbers, a high volume of people to stay rich and comfortable and to have whatever lifestyle that you want. And quite frankly, a lot of the elites or whoever is on the other side of this fourth generational war Every day, they look at places that they love, that they want, that they desire being destroyed. Like, for example, if you happen to be an elite, right, part of whatever that shadow side is, you could go to many different uh, lake areas, um, dams, and you see that the water is almost all gone. Because we don't get as much snow, but we also have an increased population. So less water, more people, less for the elite. And you have to keep that in your mindset. So the definition of fourth generation warfare is basically warfare uh, is a conflict characterized by a blurring of the lines between war and politics, combatants and civilians. And I would also add there authority. So whereas we, we, we're used to the state having the monopoly on authority, we now have global corporations that are in some ways more powerful than the state or the sovereign nation. Uh, I just watched this presentation given in 2018 that stated that uh, state on state or nation on nation warfare has simply become a jousting match. Now, what you have to understand is that the elites that are in charge right now are failing and failing miserably because they do not understand the art of war. It has uh, been lost on them. In order to win a war, which uh, human beings seem to be perpetually at, I don't know why, I don't know how society has been built where you have controllers, and the controllees, the controllees are the ones that want to be controlled, the ones that go along to get along. And then you have another small populace, right? Kind of like a bell curve, right? That want to live and let live, that want to transcend this dystopic authoritarian nightmare that we humans seem to always get ourselves caught up in. And what we're seeing now is a corporate takeover, basically. The elites are losing because they can't understand fourth generational warfare and they can't understand that the corporations want to take their place. The corporations want to be the authority. They want to rule over you. They want to make sure that you own nothing, that they own everything. They want to make sure that they are centralized. So they will have the control of the means of production. They will have control over the distribution of said production. And the elites, the government is handing it to them. And this is what we have to come to understand about the establishment, so the elites, right? Almost every politician, every big politician that has a platform, that is heard, uh, and any actor that has a platform, the larger ones, they all work for the establishment, right? We the people, we have a hunger for a non-establishment, but we can never seem to get them. How many 
of your big people that you that were anti-war became pro-war how many people that were pro-freedom became authoritarian how many people those are the people that are in the establishment the establishment the elites exempt themselves from their own failures they are the biggest hypocrites which thankfully the world is starting to see but we need to show more of it we need to show not only our elected officials that are hypocrites but the the oh, see i'm already doing it. the corporations that are hypocritical we also have to hold them accountable for their mistakes which is good. I mean, you know, I don't like cancel culture. I do not like cancel culture at all. Um, I think it's it's part of this dystopian nightmare where they're deconstructing everything and they're not holding the uh, correct people accountable. They're going for the little people, you know, the people that aren't part of the establishment. Also, what you have to know is, is that uh, the establishment that we see in place right now are people who... Um, basically want to be somebody they just want to be heard and everybody wants to be heard everybody wants to be seen everybody wants to be counted but they're so into it that's their only goal they don't want to create anything they just simply want to control because by controlling you they finally get control over their life right so instead of having to worry about market forces and saying okay are people going to buy this product they use the establishment the corporations to force people into buying their product therefore giving them that much needed control and comfort that they need people if we don't understand that what is happening is a global takeover and that the only way to fight against it is through non-compliance by standing your ground by being brave by being bold we are never going to get out of this the federal government isn't going to save us as a matter of fact they are going to hinder us so you need to go out you need to speak with people you need to have dialogues with people. You need to speak with relatives. And that's really hard. When you see relatives caving or going against you, but at least talk to them. Point out the correct things and be knowledgeable of what is going on. We have to all be knowledgeable. And we have to let each other know that they're not alone because that's what they are trying to do right now. We are in the phase where they are isolating us and making us feel that we're alone, making us feel that we're going to lose everything. And we will, we will lose everything. Even if we comply today, tomorrow will be something else and something else and something else and something else. And it just keeps adding on. I mean, the FDA is already making new rules to take salt out of food. And that's a simple thing. And we're going to wake up with all of these one little step increments to a completely changed society and one in which our grandchildren will not be able to get out of. And our great grandchildren will not even understand what freedom is. We will be walking into a nightmare on a global scale of being North Korea where they won't even understand or know. Oh no, we only eat the impossible meat. We only eat the bugs. We only do this. What is happiness? What is joy? What is the right to be joy? You think you have a right to try to be happy? And we have to start speaking out uh, about language, how they use language against us. And we need to use their language against them because language is a great tool. It is a great marker. And you need to ask the question. I mean, a, a very basic question is, is that I can't live for myself. I can't decide for myself because I have to live for my neighbor. And then my neighbor has can't live for themselves. They have to live for their neighbor. Well, eventually we're going to come back. Somebody's supposed to be living for me. Why aren't they fighting for my rights? You see? And, and we all know this already. We all know this. It's like preaching to the choir. But what can you do? What can we do to 
make a change because I know here in Utah, just to give you a heads up, our governor is not going to help us. He has already stated that he is going to strike down any mandate that says that the corporations can't have a mandate, right? Good for the corporations because they get to decide. So let's share information. Let's, let's talk to each other in the very least so that we know, A, we are at war. B, you're not alone. And C, all we have to do is hold the line, not comply, and stand with each other. United we stand, divided we fall. It is time to unite. It is time to find the people that believe in we the people. That we have the right to life, to liberty, and to the pursuit of happiness. And that we own our own body. That we own our own thoughts. And they cannot be taken from us. Especially not by unelected, unethical, hypocritical corporations that have used and abused workers for so long. Throw them away like they're trash. And we want them to treat us and to represent us. I don't think so. All right. I hope you found this useful. Um, and as always, have a lovely day.